Hello, we are outside Basics Bank to find a bit more about it. Yeah. We're here to meet Helen and yeah. Let's, let's go. get some questions. Let's go in and have a look. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Bye. yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Ow! That's supposed to be fun with me. Helen had forgotten it. The little folks were turning up and we've got the floor absolutely covered in. Why do you have the basic idea? Uh, well, the basic idea um, enables families that are really in crisis and really struggling to feed themselves to, to have a, some food, basically, and the food will last them about three days. Um, some families are waiting for benefits or other monies to come through, and it just ties them over that little period. Yeah. What things do you collect? Um, well, it's basically tinned food and a few packets, so everything rice and cereal and a few toiletries. There's a, a standardised list that we've produced recently to try and make it easier for us to pack the boxes and easier for people to know what to buy. And where's all the food? Organised on the shelves. As soon as we need boxes to pack, then if you have a look in the cupboard here, this is all packed and ready to go out. Okay. Yeah. If you'd like to see what kind of things we give out, these, this whole shelf here would be what we give out to a family. Because a family eats a lot of food in three days. Okay. So as you can see, there must be about 35 items in there. All sorts of meals, puddings, some fruit, pies, curry, pasta, some cereals, and sometimes we can give out some toiletries as well, so toothbrushes and toothpaste and soap. How many, how many people do you help in a week and how can we help? Well, in a week, we deliver about five boxes. It's gone up a lot over the last three years. So three years ago, we were only delivering one box a week. But in, certainly in August, we were delivering over five boxes a week. Um, some of the boxes go to family and some are for single people. Um, the way you can help primarily is to um, buy food to put in the boxes because that's the thing that we're running short of with the increase in deliveries. But there are other ways to help as well. And if anyone would like to volunteer, then we have people doing sorting in the store and delivering boxes and other little jobs. So do feel free to get in touch. And what kind of people do you help? Uh, well, we work closely with referral agencies. So there's the job centre, the family centre, and the hostel on High Street. Um, so we, we help basically families and single people, but a whole variety of people, uh, depending on who's referred. Is it just churches that are involved? Uh, the scheme started off with churches and there are eight churches that have collection boxes and regularly donate. Um, but also we have harvest gifts from schools and we have various other people who aren't related to the churches who are keen to drop off stuff in the churches. Um, and to help this happen, we're trying to make that easier for people who aren't directly going to church to, to have access to the collection Thank boxes. you for listening. We hope you can donate more food to Hope for Belper and give those families more food.